Good day guys, I'm Morgan Z, and today we're going to talk about the Stream 200 XLR by Hercule, Hercules Amwog. I pronounce it Hercules. Before you ask, no, I don't speak Greek. My origins are Italian. Speaking of which, I want to try and do more unboxing of this type because I'm sure this won't be the first nor the last unboxing that you're gonna watch about the 200 XLR, because that's what I do. I watch multiple ones, and then I pick the one that I prefer the creator, so I'm gonna put a lot more of my personality into my unboxing. If you like this new style, make sure that you let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Now. Let's go have a look at what's in the box. All right, so now we change our camera so you can see the top, top down. Now we're gonna open the box. In the box, we have this nice cute box sticked underneath um, the top of the box. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, okay, got the usual papers inside. And then we got a bag with a USB-A, a, a USB-C cable, and then we got a cloud lifter. So all preamp. It's nice as they include it in the box. It's about 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. It's a cheap one. With that said, there are some microphones like SM7B and so on that are very quiet. Uh, so this will help you push the volume up basically, of the um, microphone. But if you're looking at SN7B, most likely you're not looking at this device anyway in the first place. And then we got the start of the show, which is the actual device. So as you can see, it's plastic. All throughout plastic. These knobs feels a bit tactile, but at the same time, it feels very loose. And those ones the same. The click is a bit satisfying, to be honest. But it's not, yeah, it's not definitely the best. You have one, two, three, and four. We'll see in a minute what they do. They're basically buttons. We're going to map them out in the software in a minute you have one button only to mute um you can set it up in the software to mute both so your audience and your own mix or just one of the two uh, this is to link the two sources what you hear in your ear and what the audience hear and then you have one button this is really good to see this is probably the only device that I've ever seen that you can toggle what you, you hear, which is the creator, and the audience. You can swap on the fly with the button. This is really, really good. At the back, we have all the ports. From left to right, we go to the screen. So just turn on and off the screen. USB-C that goes with a cable that goes directly into the PC. Then you have the line in, that could be uh, another PC as well. So this is usable as well with two computer setups. Then you got phones as in headphones. So you can plug in headphones as well. Line out. One of the things that I like about this is that you can split the output into headphones, but line out could be speakers as well, which is really good. Optical, so this is optical end. So some consoles that still use optical, so you can connect them to your computer via this cable, at least the audio. And then you got a button, a physical button, to use the preamp inbuilt into the device. It's not that strong. We had a look before at another preamp that they include in the box. This is to make sure that mics that are really, really quiet can be heard. 
And then you got your XLR microphone input. At the bottom, you got feet, as you can see. This is one of the biggest complaints that I had with the Stream Deck, that sometimes you put it in place and then while you press the buttons, it slides away. But with this one and this tiny feet at the bottom, once you put it on, it doesn't go anywhere. All right, guys, quick note. As you can see, new t-shirt means new day. I've recorded about 30 minutes of video and then I realized that because I unplugged my Stream Deck Plus, Wavelink stopped working without any warnings, which is annoying. I wanted to throw it at the wall, but I'm here again. Let's do it quickly, maybe not 30 minutes. We're going to have a look at how to find the software. And here it is. Here it is. This is how you find the software. On the main website, you just go into Stream, Stream 200 XLR, click it, scroll down, and it will say Download Software. You are a live streamer, so most likely you know how to install the software, so I won't go in that detail. Let's just open up the software. So whatever you see on here is what you also see on the actual device, exactly the same. Now, I wanna point out that this button right here that we skipped it when I showed you the device, this is to change pages. So you go from page one to page two because you have a total of eight audio inputs. Now, let's go have a look at the settings first. You got general settings. Here is where you update the software and the firmware of the device. Just check auto check for updates and usage monitoring. This is where you determine the volume of the line out. And you can change as well what it's coming from. Then you got customization. You can customize how it looks. So for example, uh, we don't want the view meters to look like this. We can change it to look like this, for example, any updates in real time on the actual device. The action zone is just below. So you can choose to have either boxing or just cover the top. And you, here you have the icon library. Server access, this is where you connect your OBS. The only thing that you have to do in OBS is go into tools, then WebSocket server settings. You will have this page that comes up. You just have to show connect info copy the server password and you copy on here you copy on here and you save it and then this is where you change settings of your microphone it has presets also you can change the mic type so if you have a dynamic condenser with 48 v phantom power and dynamic plus the phantom power and here is where you adjust the gain. You got also noise gate, dynamics, equalizer. I know it may be a little bit advanced. What I will recommend is just use the preset when you first start. And then starting from the preset, you just go and change those values while you listen to it via headphones. And if it sounds good to you, it will sound good as well to your audience. Let's save this. Now, we've got a mixer, and it gives a few options. Then you've got actions. This is the actions that you can do from your system. So, for example, mute source, uh, mute channel, push to mute. You can add keyboard shortcuts, UR launcher, and so on. And then you have OBS that comes up. And you can play audio files, scene switch, and 
how do you use those? You just have to drag and drop them. And it will say, you know, do you want to reassign? Yes, reassign. So you give it a name. For example, uh, it will be uh, starting soon. You can give it an icon if you want. Uh, just say OBS. And then you, you select your... For example, mine is horizontal starting. And then you click OK. So now number one, button number one will be starting soon. Last but not least, if you have voice mod open, let me open it up. If you have voice mod open, give it a few seconds. <laughs> it will pop up automatically. It will light up. There you go. Took a few seconds and you can add the voice box FX. Reassign you can pick the voice that you want and then you click OK. And the same thing, you can add a sound from the soundboard. Reassign yes. And you can pick whatever you want. And you can change the name if you want, we don't need to. But there you go. So it doubles up almost as a stream deck. When it comes to the other buttons, uh, you can't change really those ones, but you can change those ones. So, uh, for example, you don't like the fact that this is green and this is purple. You can change the colors. You can even have gradients. So, for example, the first color, you want it to be blue, and the second color, you want it to be orange. You set it like this, and then for creators, so, so creators, what you hear in your ears, and audience is what your audience hear. So we do completely opposite uh, colors. So we do green at the top, but on the bottom we do orangey. And then now, see, green, orange, and red, and purple. We can also change the name of... The sources, so for example, we go icon, we want to change the icon, we change the icon to something else. We want to change the icon to, I don't know, press and play. And then we change the name to XYZ, XYHZ, okay. There you go, it's called HYZ. And then what we can do is if you go into your sound settings, right click on the bottom where the speaker is, you just go open volume mixer, and then you will see that the output device automatically will be Hercules system that we have on page two. And then the input device, you can select line in, Hercules, creator, microphone. In this case, we'll go microphone. Even though I don't have an XLR mic connected, my mic is wireless. So let's change it back to whatever that was, voice mod. And then when you go into Discord, for example, you go up a device you want it to put into chat and then input device we just leave it as default so now when you are with your teammates on discord and you want to change it to i changed it earlier in the other tutorial i changed it to talk but let's say this is chat okay so when you are in game and you are with your teammates on Discord, you can actually change the volume of you can change the volume of the chat while you are in game. You see how it goes up and down? You see how it goes up and down? And then if it's now on creator. It's now create the selected. You can select audience. 
and then change what your audience hear and it, your feedback is instantaneous on the device. Easy, isn't it? <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. So, what's your opinion on the device? Who is this device for? Well, I reckon this device is for who's just starting to make content, live stream, because for the price that you pay, you get ad hoc audio, but at the same time, you can do some basic tasks because it has OBS integration, it has voice mode integration with eight button because as I showed you before on the software, you have two pages, so four buttons per page. So you can have, for example, one full page for OBS and then another full page for voice mode. Yes, it integrates with voice mode as well. And it has presets for your mic, which is a very good place to start. But at the same time, it goes deep into the customization of the audio of the mic. So if you do decide to learn more about audio, you can still use this device and is upgradable because let's say you get a cheap XLR microphone when you first start and then you're starting to know more about audio and you do want to upgrade, you don't need to upgrade your device because this device still um, lets you use any type of microphone with or without the other cloud lifter that was in the box and also it supports keybinds or macros, whatever you want to call them. So it makes it compatible with most softwares that are on the market. So even if it's not just OBS and voice mod, you can add keybinds from other software or which I reckon this would happen. This is a bit of a stepping stone that Hercules is just testing the ground so i reckon in the future they would update uh, the software to make it compatible with more more services like the stream deck there you go if i miss something or there is something that you do want to know just make sure that you let me know in the comments down below if you like this video i'm sure you will like this video next or this video next which side that is <laughs> I always forget. I'll see you there. Hello, mates.